Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to a new video it's Ibrahim Muslim and today this video is on Clever Configurator so before we start I want to say sorry for all the guys who are waiting for a video out there and it's kind of three or more weeks gap between the videos and the last time I made a video was on 6th of March and it's 22nd now and it's kind of a huge distance so let's start with our tutorial and, and today I will teach you about the graphics section of the clever configurator in my previous videos I explained how, how to use GUI disable drivers a CPU boot and a CPI so the a CPI is kind of modified in the time between the videos so I will try to make a, a latest video on it as well so to cover all the new features which are added up so let's start with the graphics which is the basic uh, subject on which the video is based so you can see there are a couple of different options and white blanks on this section of the clever configurator and the most prominent thing you will read here is inject edid custom edid vendor id product id and then there are small titles down here so let's zoom in and so what is edid edid means extended display identification data and this is basically what tells your graphic card or your motherboard that to which monitor it is connected through which port so basically your cpu knows how to communicate between its display ports and then display ports know how to communicate between monitor and the port so the monitor basically tells the display port or the hdmi port or the vga or dva port that which kind of monitor I am, what is the maximum resolution I suppose, what are the color characteristics I suppose, what is my horizontal and vertical size. So this is all what EDID sends to the system or to the graphic card or to the motherboard and we will learn how to inject different EDID or I will make this video kind of more basic and I will teach you how to inject custom EDID in the coming videos and I will also tell you how to extract the EDID out of your monitors or your graphic card and etc. So let's start with the inject EDID. So this section, this checkbox will enable that you are trying to inject an EDID to communicate with your monitor and if you just click over here and do nothing else so basically the clover will try to find the best possible combination for your EDID and will try to get the most compatibility out of your system automatically so but if you want to add more details here you can personally add vendor ID of your monitor which you have connected and the product ID as well if you have both of these things you can find that on the website as well as if you use some third-party apps then here is the dual link if you set the dual link to zero it will solve the problem many people are facing which include the quartering of the screen if you know what I mean quartering of the screen means that half of the display or half of the monitor is working or the quarter of the display is working and the rest is not properly working or anything related to that kind of glitches and stuff so if you click zero it will enable it and the default value is basically one instead of zero so if you select zero it will enable the dual link then here is the FB name it's not Facebook it's frame buffer <laughs> and you get a couple of frame buffer named already here so in the previous uh, version of clover this facility was not available but now the clover makers got so nice and they provide a lot of different frame buffer names and it's really kind of them to get all these names and look at this it's mostly mostly for amd you won't find any other graphic card here so the ones who are using amd graphic card they got lucky and then here is the nv cap so basically nv cap is for nvidia only and it's kind of 40 digits hexadecimal code here and you have to add it, it for enabling the ports and for better compatibility with your nvidia cards and this is mostly for older graphic card which are not uh, properly configuring with your hackintosh so if you're using any of the NVIDIA's uh, graphic card which are above GTX 500 including the 500 series and till up 900 series you won't need any of this to get your graphic card working on your Hackintosh but this NV uh, basically translates for NVIDIA cards 
port system and you have to edit that 40 hex stuff to get the thing working and you can find that code on google so better luck for that and then we come to the vram so vram stands for video ram and this basically represents the video ram available to your graphic card and this does not kind of makes a big difference i've tried to add different values here including many different values greater or smaller than the available memory with my graphica and it, it makes no big difference and then is video ports and you have to enter the amount of ports here and this again does not make any big difference then is the display cfg and this is again for nvidia and there are no big details uh, available on the internet for what this thing does but basically we add a 16 hex code here to get a better compatibility with our NVIDIA cards but right now I don't know more about this and then here is IG platform ID which, which stands for Intel graphics platform ID and luckily now after years of using Clever they provide some of the IG platform IDs for better compatibility on your Hackintosh and and this section include many patches for ranging for Skyland CPUs to Broadwell to Hackville as well and here you can see a kind of small detail is available as well so Skyland desktop 1912 Tetra 4 for HD 530 use iMac this procedure artifacts on some system before 10.11.4 and then we go real down and Haswell will get the code for Haswell as well and Haswell desk, desktop Haswell mobile and those who are using Intel HD 4600 and 4400 they can use this one which represent Haswell desktop it can be 4400 4600 and then and those who are on Haswell mobile which means on laptop and they can use this one advice for HD 5004 and many of the people back there were trying to know how to get their Intel HD graphics acceleration and QI and stuff working. So this basically fixes up their problem. And I did not use this code because I already get this has well working without this. But for those whose uh, Intel graphic does not work with that fix, they can use this one. And I will try this as well. So it ranges from Ivy Bridge to down to Skyline and that's kind of big list and then is the dis boot display it's better just leave that empty and down here we go about six check boxes and here is the load v bios so load v bios is basically a system by which you can load the bios or you can say a legacy bios of a video card uh, which only have a uefi bios and this is very important if you're using an amd system and AMD graphic card even on mother uh, even on laptops and on desktop you better use this load vbios for those cards to work properly and then is patch vbios if your graphic card does not have a legacy bios and it's kind of latest one if you translate it to uh, normal terms and if your graphic card is the latest one you can use this patch vbios if it's not working by default on your hackintosh and then is inject intel I use both of these in, in inject Intel and load VBIOS to get my Intel HD 4600 working and then is inject ATI for AMD and ATI graphic cards and then is inject in, NVIDIA, NVIDIA generic and NVIDIA single so these are the three different section for NVIDIA for if your graphic card is not working properly you can use inject in NVIDIA and if that does not fix then go to generic one and in last year to Nvidia single. Now here are some of the patches for your VBIOS and I just came to one and let me open that patch. This patch is uh, for AMD Radeon HD6670 for video BIOS. So basically this is a patch for video BIOS and you can read this hex which is here and which was replaced by this hex and this fixed the display resolution from 1920 to 1920 by 1440 to 1920 by 1080 and there are people who have used multiple patches to fix multiple different sectors or sections of their graphic card and you can use multiple patch for a single graphic card and i hope it will fix that and if you are having a problem let me know in the comments below i will try to find the best possible combinations of patches to get your graphic out working 
and down here is also <clears throat> a patching system or you can say a section where you can add details about your graphic card so the clover understands it a better and can try to uh, add better combination to get the better compatibility so then we will move to the kernel and pack patches and this is a big section and i will explain you about this section in the coming video so that's all for the graphic section guys thanks for watching hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it and for more such video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'm about to reach 1000 subscribers soon, only 130 subs less. So please don't forget to subscribe. And for more videos, turn the notification on so you get the bell when I upload a video. So that's all again. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. hope you enjoyed it. And if you can, help me through Patreon, like, share and subscribe. Until the very next video, take care. Allah Hafiz.